All right, these are reactions of alkenes. You'll need to probably pause the YouTube video to write all this stuff down because I've only got 10 minutes, so I'm working fast. Uh, the first reaction, hydrogenation, uses platinum as the catalyst. The second one, halogenation, or addition of a halogen, no catalyst. The third one, addition of a hydrogen halide, no catalyst. In addition of water is hydration. You use sulfuric acid as the catalyst. So I'm gonna erase these and then we'll do one of each. Maybe two of each. So you get the unique pleasure of seeing me teach on a Sunday night with no class. Not quite in my pajamas, but close enough. We had the flu at my house. And several of you also had the flu, so this is for you. All right, this first one, we'll just erase this too. Give myself plenty of room. Hydrogenation, that's the first one. Remember, these are reactions um, of alkenes. The ones we did in the previous segment were reactions to make alkenes. So, hydrogenation, number one. It's real easy. You take an alkene, whatever it is, you add hydrogen, H2 because it's diatomic. The catalyst is platinum, PT. The result is an alkane, which is saturated. I'll do it with a cyclo, cyclopropene. If I said to you, show me the hydrogenation of cyclopropene, you would know how to draw cyclopropene, plus H2 yields cyclopropane. Those two H's are kind of absorbed into the ring. One more, hydrogenation of 1-butene. There's one butene, hydrogenation, I forgot my catalyst there, that would be one point off. Platinum catalyst, one, two, three, four. There's your hydrogens. You don't have to write the H's. Do not call this thing 1,2-dihydrobutane. That's wrong, it's just butane. Okay, that's hydrogenation. Since I have no class here, I don't have to answer any questions. So I'll just chunk this. And anytime you need to pause, rewind, feel free. The second reaction is halogenation. And that's where we add a halogen. Do you remember what the halogens are? Yeah. No class, no answer. Halogenation. That's addition of chlorine, fluorine, that's F, not FL, bromine, or iodine. All those guys are diatomics, all those guys are halogens. So when you add a halogen, you could take, say, propene, one propene, um, plus, let's do F2. No catalyst, these two guys are so unstable, they just jump together. Wherever that double bond was, one F goes to one side, one F goes to the other. One, two, dofluoropropane. If you got a cyclic, Cyclobutene plus I2, no catalyst. I goes to one side, I goes to the other side. Do not put both eyes on the same corner. I just created a bunch of quizzes and several people did that. Uh, the two eyes go on either side of where that double bond was. Now this reaction itself <coughs> can be used to tell if you've got a double bond. I'll see if I can explain this kind of quickly. Sometimes people are a little confused. But I'll, I'll try to explain it. Bromine is a red liquid. And Br2 is red. So what you can do is take bromine with its red color and add it to something. And based on the color change of the results, you can tell if it had a double bond. So let's say I have something unsaturated here and something saturated. I'm going to add bromine to each one of them. Now, the thing is, bromine is red. The beginning thing is clear. So when I add bromine to ethene, it just jumps on there, just like this. And what color do you think the product is? Yes, clear. Because the only time the Br2 is red is when it's actually Br2. Here it's split apart, so the red color goes away. That tells me, because my product's clear, that my original thing 
was unsaturated or had a double bond or a triple. When you add bromine to an alkane, you get no reaction. Remember, alkanes are not real reactive. Now, if there was the right catalyst, maybe you could. But the product is going to remain kind of, we'll say red. It's probably light red, reddish clear, whatever that would be. But the question I'm going to ask you on a test is, how is bromine used to determine if something is unsaturated? You're going to tell me, you're either going to explain it or draw this, if the product is clear, it was unsaturated. If the product is red, it was saturated. All right. Email me your questions since you're not here. We have two more reactions. And I might finish them in my 10 minute time. The next one is addition of a hydrogen halide. A hydrogen halide, let's call it HX. X represents the halogen. It is either HCl, HBr, HF, or HI. Any of those guys. So what I would say is something like, this is number three, I guess. Show me the addition of hydrochloric acid to one, well, let's start it with ethene. So ethene plus HCl yields, there's no catalyst here, again. Cl goes to one, H goes to the other. It's up to you if you want to draw that H. Either way, the name is chloroethane. And I'm looking at how much time. Six minutes. Okay. Let's see if I can finish this. Now, you could also put that chlorine there. But these two guys are the same thing, so it doesn't matter where you put it. Only show me one of those, because it will matter if I add HCl to propane. So watch this. Plus HCl. No catalyst. If you think ahead, you can see how the H could go to the end or the H could go to the middle. There are two products. When the H goes to the end, we call that the major product. Now, that's the kindergarten version of it. There was this Russian guy named Markovnikov. He came up with a rule, and it said that the carbon with the most hydrogens gets the hydrogen. For us, for this chapter, that means the carbon on the end. It has two. This one only has a one, and we're only talking about the one with the double bonds. So this is the major product, produced like 95% of the time. This is the minor product. Yes, you need to show both, circle the major. Now the other time you'll run into this is with number four, and I'm going to try to zip through this, which is addition of water. You could call it hydration. In hydration, you are adding water. Let's add it to one butene plus HOH. Yes. Your catalyst is sulfuric acid. That's okay. Don't ask questions. You're not here. You can't anyways. So H goes to one. Po goes to the other. H, O, H. Major or minor product? Right. Major product. H is on the end. One, two, three, four. O, H, H. This is the major product because the H is on the end. You will not have any majors and minors with cyclos. I will not give you any majors or minors with cyclos. Now, there are two other reactions. I'm going to stick them down here at the bottom. Other than these four addition reactions we've done. We're not going to do the reactions. just going to name them. They're called oxidation and polymerization. That's two reactions other than addition reactions that alkenes undergo. Fill in the blank on the test. All right, I think that's all the time i got for this one. Um, stay tuned. Next segment is special for all you swine flu people.